Hello everyone. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would like to talk to you about this upcoming City of Fort Worth project. My name is Shweta Rao and I am one of the project managers in Transportation and Public Works Department's Capital Delivery Team. And I'll be the construction project manager for upcoming Hewlin Street Sidewalk project. This presentation was originally meant to be given at an in-person community meeting and with all the affected residents and other citizens who utilize the street. However, due to city's proactive response to the current coronavirus outbreak, the presentation has been recorded in lieu of the actual meeting. This presentation is meant to provide you with some information about the scope of this project that is happening in your neighborhood and give you a little bit of heads up on what to expect with the upcoming construction. Here is the agenda of what I hope to cover in my brief presentation. I'll be talking about the project as a whole, providing some background on the project, reviewing the scope of the project, and providing you with the information on phasing and schedule for construction. I will cover some frequently asked questions at the end of my presentation. This project was prioritized for 2014 bond sidewalk funds but we were not able to deliver the project as we had to prioritize other locations due to safety concerns. This location was therefore a high priority for 2018 bond. The location was selected based on high pedestrian volume and safety for pedestrians considering the high speed on Hewland Street. The project scope includes installation of sidewalks and ADA ramps to improve safety and walkability for pedestrians. City of Fort Worth being one of the blue zone cities, we encourage our residents to walk by providing them safe walking facilities. The project is funded by 2018 bond funds, which was voted on by the residents of Fort Worth in May of 2018. A in-person public meeting was conducted for the project during design phase on January 16, 2020. We were happy to meet the residents and address their concerns. This slide shows the project location and limits. The project limits are on Hewlin Street from I-30 to Bryce Avenue. The sidewalk will be installed along the east side of Hewlin Street. Every intersection will be made ADA accessible by constructing ADA ramps at the corner of the intersection. This will provide a safe crossing and continuity to existing facilities for pedestrians. The project also includes signal improvement at the intersection of I-30 and Hewlin Street to make the pedestrian signal ADA compliant. We will also be installing a bus pad at the Trinity Metro bus stop. The bus pad will be 18.5 feet by 10 feet concrete pad for the riders to get on and off the bus. During the design phase public meeting held on January 16, 2020 at Arlington Heights High School, we had 12 citizens in attendance. These attendees were given the opportunity to ask questions and share comments or concerns. We wanted to share with you four questions that were asked during the meeting and we wanted to share our responses. The first question was, can a sidewalk be constructed on west side of Hewlin Street from I-30 to Calmont Avenue? A solution was determined, however, construction funding is unavailable at this time. These improvements requests will be provided to the City of Fort Worth Transportation Management Team for consideration as a future improvement project. The second question was, will sidewalk repair on the west side of Hewlin Street be completed? Repairs at this intersection on the west side will be completed to make the project ADA compliant but the mid-block repairs will not be completed as a part of this project. To make the best use of the bond funds and to provide accessibility to as many parts of the city as possible, it was decided to install sidewalks on only one side of the street. Coming to the next question, will existing trees be removed? The tree removals will be necessary on 4536 Breacham Avenue and 4536 Pershing Avenue properties. The city TPW team met with the arborist to determine the health of the tree and to check if the sidewalk construction will have any impact on them. 
According to the arborists, the two specified trees are in poor condition and will not be able to handle the construction around them. The last question was, will the traffic lanes be temporarily closed or detoured? Yes, the northbound Hewland Street travel lane will need to be closed and detoured during construction. The closure and detour is planned to only be during the daytime hours and will be reopened when the contractor is not on site. We will review the construction phasing plan in the later slide. Coming to the project schedule, we have completed relocating the utilities that were in conflict with the proposed sidewalk design. We have also completed acquisition of easements required for construction of driveways and ADA ramps. We will be executing the construction contract in early June 2020 and are anticipating start of construction on June 22, 2020. The total cost of construction for the sidewalks on this location is approximately 330000 The construction for this project will take around four months. To maintain the traffic flow and property access, this project will be constructed in three phases. In phase one, contractor will be constructing sidewalk on Hewland Street from Calmont Avenue to El Campo Avenue. During this phase, the northbound lanes for this section will be closed for approximately one and a half months. The detour route will be as shown in the slide for the northbound traffic. The traffic will be diverted from Calmont Avenue to Western Avenue and then back to Hewland Street from El Campo Avenue. Similarly, in Phase 2, contractor will be constructing sidewalk on Hewland Street from El Campo Avenue to Bryce Avenue. During this phase, northbound lanes for this section will be closed for approximately one and a half months. The detour route will be as shown in the slide for the northbound traffic. The traffic will be diverted from El Campo Avenue to Western Avenue and then back to Hewland Street from Bryce Avenue. The last phase, Phase 3, will include the construction on Hewland Street from I-30 to Calmont Avenue. The northbound lanes will be closed for approximately a month for this phase. The traffic going northbound on Hewland Street will be detoured to Ashland Avenue and will be back on Hewland Street from Calmont Avenue. Proper signage and traffic control will be installed to avoid as much confusion as possible during these phases. This site shows the detour plan as a whole for this project. Access to any of the side streets will not be impacted during construction. Access to driveways along Hewland Street will be provided at all times during the course of construction. I would like to review multiple frequently asked questions with you on similar projects. Please feel free to contact me if you have any additional questions other than the one discussed here. The first question is, what is the typical width of proposed sidewalk? A typical width of the sidewalk will be 5 feet when detached from the roadway curb and 6 feet when attached to the roadway curb. Where existing trees are located, the width of the sidewalk may be reduced to 4 feet to preserve the tree and reduce impact on the base roots. ADA generally prefers a minimum of 3 feet walkable surface for pedestrians. The second question is, are we impacting the driveways in the project? If so, will there be any access to the property during driveway construction? There will be multiple driveway reconstructions with this project. We will be replacing one panel at a time that will provide continuous access to property at all times. The next question is, Will existing irrigation system or grass be impacted with this project? If an existing irrigation system or grass parkway is impacted by the construction, the contractor will be required to repair the site to the pre-construction conditions. If an irrigation system is within the limits of the proposed improvements, the system will be adjusted by the contractor. The last question is, will the construction materials and equipments be left on site during construction? Yes, the contractor will keep the materials and equipments on site during construction. However, the travel lanes will be reopened when the contractor is not on site. In addition, the contractor will clean the work site every day prior to leaving for the day. As we move forward, I would like to share two point of contacts for you. We look forward to improving the infrastructure within the city of Fort Worth. I would like to thank you all again for taking time to listen to this presentation. 
and feel free to contact me if you have any further questions regarding the project. I'll be glad to help you with it. I wish you all stay safe and healthy.